Welcome to chapter 2. In this chapter, we will discuss what are the prerequisites required to write a C program. First, you need an editor. We saw what is an editor in the first chapter. An editor is used to type the source program. Second, you need a compiler. A compiler is used to compile and create the executable file. Third is the runtime or execution environment where the executable file can be executed and the output can be looked at. What is an IDE? IDE means an integrated development environment. An IDE provides an editor, a compiler as well. So with both of these available, an executable file can be generated. IDEs provide lot more features. The editor has highlighted text. It can help with hints, so a lot more features are available. There are very popular ID environments available. We will look at some of them. So here is a list of top IDEs that are being used in the industry. Number one, NetBeans for C and C++ development. The GNU GDB now, debugger is used for this. Next, you see CodeBlocks, which is again a very popular editor and IDE. Third, you see Eclipse. Eclipse is a very popular open source tool that's available. Eclipse supports C, Java, C++, many other languages. Codelight IDE is again a free open source cross-development IDE platform that's available for C, C++, JavaScript and Python. Bluefish Editor, again a very popular editor. It's very lightweight. It supports Linux and Mac. Brackets. Brackets is very popular in the industry. The high level programming is using web designing programs, development programs are developed in brackets. C and C++ programmers also can use it, but it needs an extension to be developed. Atom is another editor that's being used. Sublime text editor, again a very popular editor used in the industry. Uh, you need to do some customization for you to use Sublime for C and C++. So, as you can see, there are plenty of uh, editors available for C. For a learner, for a beginner, uh, Turbo C, Turbo C++, right, is one of the one I would recommend if you're working offline. Um, a Turbo C, you can download it from here, uh, codeplex.com slash Turbo C, you can download it from here. So, you can download the Windows version from here. Once you unzip the file, you will get the Turbo C editor. So for all practical purposes, we will be using an online editor. I will show that quickly. So as we saw, Turbo C is very popular one. It will work offline in the sense you don't need to be online on the internet to use it. It can work uh, even when you're not connected to the internet. Uh, the ones that we will use extensively in this course will be onlinegdb.com and Python Tutor. I'll show the features of these two very shortly. I use the online GDB version. Uh, if you want, you can sign up and log in. It's for free that you can sign up and log in here. Uh, we will use extensively this particular one for programming. This is the editor interface where you can type the C program. You have to select the language. It supports multiple language languages here. I am selecting C and then um, you can actually beautify the code. You can do a lot more things on this. So here it's a, this is a very simple interface. Uh, it works well for teaching, but for programming, actually, when you want to develop for an inter industry with a multi-file program, I would suggest one of the editors that we saw earlier, but for teaching and learning, this is a really good interface. It's very simple. You don't have to install configure anything. You just do online GDB, select the C language here. And then when you do the compilation, this does the compilation for you. Just all you have to do is to do run here and it would do the compilation for you. So another great option is Python Tutor. Python Tutor, once you click Python Tutor, it'll, you will see visualize the code here. Once you click the visualize, it will open up the visualization interface where you can visualize the code line by line. So this is the visualization code. Here you have to select C, GCC, the GNU C compiler. I'm selecting that. Now you can type your code here and you will be able to visualize. We'll be using this extensively during the course when, whenever we have to do a detailed visualization. So coming back, uh, we have the online GDB and PythonTutor.com. 
um, we, are, we can you have to click the visualize to get to the interface both these require the internet uh, throughout right so whenever you want to debug compile you need the internet access um, but turbo c will work offline right so that's the quick summary now let's get into the first program